Hello everyone, this is DA from EA Academy and today this video is about polarization identity and so first of all let's talk about the statement of the polarization law or identity. So again we have inner product space and we will represent it by we and we have to take two elements from this so so the polarization identity states that we can write the inner product of two elements from the inner product space we in the form of an imaginary part and a real part so the statement is one by four times norm square of x plus y minus norm square of x minus y so this is the real part here plus iota and we're now going to write the imaginary part plus iota times so plus iota norm x plus iota y squared minus iota x minus iota y norm squared so we have x and y from the inner product space and we can write the inner product equal to 1 by 4 times this whole thing and we have this the real part contains the norm squared of x plus y minus the norm squared of x minus y and here we have imaginary part with x plus iota y norm squared and x minus iota y norm squared with the negative sign in between the two norms. So we are going to prove this polarization identity now. So let's start the proof. As x and y are taken from the inner product space and now we are going to write x plus y norm squared because we know the link between the norm square and the inner product space so we'll, we will use this and we will now expand this term. We will have if we're going to expand this x plus y norm squared then then this is equal to norm of x squared plus norm of y squared plus inner product of x and y plus the inner product of y and x and if we are going to use this whole term by and we replace y here we replace y with minus y here then this will be and then this will be norm of x squared plus norm of y squared because we have replaced this y with minus y so we have minus inner product of x and y and here as well minus y and x now we'll use this and if we replace y with iota y here then what will be the expansion so first term will be the same norm of x squared and the second term will also be the same because iota square is equal to minus 1 and the norm will have no effect on this so we have plus y norm squared and this term will have so minus x with iota y and we have minus iota y and x so because x is in the now x with iota y iota is in the second place and if we go to extract this iota out then it will be iota conjugate or iota bar this is equal to minus iota so this minus will be changed into positive sign so we have plus iota x with y and here iota is is on the first place so the negative sign cannot be replaced with the positive sign or we can say that it can be extracted out easily without having a bar or taking the conjugate of it so we have plus iota x and y minus iota y and x similarly we can write this expression for norm of x plus iota y norm squared so we have so we have norm of x squared plus norm of y squared minus iota x and y why this is negative because of taking iota from the second place out from this thing so we have to take the negative sign by taking the conjugate so that is why there is a negative sign plus iota y and x so we have the four expressions the four equalities or the four equations here now we have to deal with it in order to make the polarization identity so if we are going to subtract I'm now looking for forward uh, the first two equations that if we are going to subtract them okay if we're going to subtract them what would be the outcome of it this term x plus y norm squared minus x minus y norm squared equals to this term 
minus this term we have nothing and this norm y squared minus norm y norm of y squared this will be also equal to zero and we're going to, to look at this thing now inner product of x and y this is minus so if we're going to subtract this so this negative become positive so x y x y with the positive sign so we have two times inner product of x and y and the same goes for this the two times the inner product of y and x and we can also write this this is equal to two times no two times two plus two this is four so this is four real part of the inner product of x and y so this norm of x plus y squared minus and norm of x minus y whole squared this is equal to four times real part of x and y now if we're looking at these two terms so if we're going to subtract these two terms then what we will get so we have x minus iota y norm squared minus x plus iota y norm squared and this is equal to this minus this we get nothing with the same case with the norm of y squared minus norm of y squared we get nothing and this x and y iota x and y plus iota x and y we get two times two iota inner product of x and y and the same goes for this this is negative and this will be negative and we're going to subtract this term so we get negative 2 iota y and x so negative 2 iota inner product of y and x so here we have iota on this side we have 2 on this side and so we can take this 2 and iota common from this side as well as the negative sign from this side so we have this whole thing equal to so this will be four times the imaginary part when I'm not going to take this two because it will be one by two on this side and I'm not interested in making one by two on the other side because I have four on this side in the previous expression. So four times the imaginary part of the inner product of x with y. Now if we're going to add if we're going to add this and this term, then we have four times the real part of the inner product of x and y and the four time imaginary part of the inner product of x and y by adding these two expressions we have the polarization identity because this whole term and this whole term is eventually equal to four times inner product of x and y because initially x and y are taken from the inner product space or we can also say that x and y are taken from the complex inner product space because we have the real and imaginary part here so this four times real x and y and the four times imaginary x and y will lead us to eventually we combine these terms so we have four times inner product of x and y so this will be so this will be equal to sum of this whole thing plus this whole thing and we can get initially what is the polarization identity so this is for now looking for most of the videos and you can subscribe to this channel to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye